Hey guys, what's going on? Chrono. And I've got the Link uh, Regulation Duel event that's going on, and I wanted to share with you what I'm playing. If you know me, it's not going to be a surprise. That's right, Crusadia. Um, I like the ratio that I played with. I just wanted to see how it would do. Now, I will say the one Reclusia, I was wondering why I wasn't seeing certain Crusadias enough, but the rest I just have at two, and I do like this ratio. It's actually... Uh, proven to be more successful than I would have anticipated. I already had all these cards, but I have a very big, I'm trying to go uh, second strategy with the Kaijus, but I really like using the Mech Knight engine. And the reason that I use the Mech Knights, um, my son Matthew, he was the one who actually developed this. Um, he saw Mech Knights, saw how they worked, and started to incorporate them into Crusadia, and when I saw how he did it, I thought, man, this, this looks pretty real uh, in terms of what it could do. Now, does the deck have some bricks? Yes, like I don't want uh, Testament or Power, um, not necessarily right away, or I don't want like, you know, two of the Legacy Secret, but it did pretty well. And uh, again, I don't even have the extra deck maxed out. Uh, some of it's because I just don't have the gems to get uh, certain cards that I want. But again, it did better than I actually anticipated that it would. Now, some of the big heavy hitters like Avermax there and Appalooza, and then of course, Access Code Talker, they're great cards, and I used the Access Code Talker once. Um, I have the Avermax just in case I needed it, but I'm really surprised with the success I've had. So let's break down some of these decks. This was a really solid build. Um, uh, that Pendulum deck, it really can put in work if you get enough counters, but I was able to OTK it uh, uh, pretty easily uh, once I was able to get past some of his main setup there. Same thing with that deck we just looked at. That was a hodgepodge of who knows what. But I ran into a lot of Salaman Great. Um, well, at least I thought I would. And so I was very pleased uh, with how I played against it. Uh, and just to show you how Crusadia works when you're doing this event, the goal is the OTK. That's all you're going for in this situation. It's all you need. And so uh, you're going to see here from the way that I play this, if, as long as I can make that happen, it usually works. Now, I feel like my opponent starts off well with the Sinet Mining. And uh, it's a real smart uh, ditch to get rid of the Ash because you can just get it back. Flame Buffalo is so, so good. I max C here because I know Salman Great's got a special a lot, but the Call by the Grave just shuts that down. Uh, again, I, I feel this card should always be at three because it really does stop a lot of uh, crazy hand traps and then you actually get to play. So he's gonna link off the Flame Buffalo and you know what's happening, Bay Lynx comes out and then the effect in the Grave of Flame Buffalo, you get a draw of two and then Bay Lynx is gonna give you the field spell. I mean, Salaman Greats are a ton of fun. Shoutouts to Diablos, I know how much he enjoys that deck. Um, but yeah, notice it's just giving you everything that you need. Notice now Gazelle comes out because there's a special summon. Goes ahead and sends the trap, which is really good. Uh, then we've got a great uh, card choice being done here with the Link 2 and Sunlight Wolf. And again, you know these plays. And with it being a Link event, uh, my first thought was, I'm sure I'm going to run into Salaman Grave, especially with it being one of the starter decks that you could get. And I did uh, get myself an entire play set. I thought that it just made a lot of sense. And I don't see why you wouldn't want to do something like that. But goes against uh, for another one, which is the right play. Goes ahead and uses the effect. And then that gives him the trap back. So this is a very good board that I feel like my opponent is making. And this is where I got very concerned when I saw another Link monster because I can usually get rid of one. Two becomes a little tricky uh, with the build that I've got. I love the card I get off the top there. Normal Summon Maximus. Uh, go ahead and go for the Link one here, and I go ahead and get, uh, Mag is it Magius? I don't know how I could do that. But go ahead and go for the Mech Knight card. Now I know this helps him uh, because he's able to get a card off this. I'm okay with that. I was actually hoping that might trigger something, and it did. So uh, I go ahead and play power here, protecting my card, because I know he's got two Link monsters, so he or a Link 2 monster, so he can go ahead and pop uh, two cards. Notice my card is safe. Okay, so he goes ahead and also gets a card back from the grave. Flame, Flame Buffalo is really good. I use the Kaiju here, then I go ahead and special summon the Mech Knight. 
uh, card, the Purple Knight one, he uses the Ash. Um, and so when that happens, I go ahead and chain. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use Purple Knight Falls effect. And that worked out really well. He forgot that I played power. And so uh, my card is still going to resolve. So uh, Draco is still going to be able to go off here, special summon it, because that's how all the Crusades work. They just have to special to an arrow pointing on the field, go for the link two. And so notice I was able to get through some good interruption there. Um, and now I'm off to the races. And as long as he doesn't have a, uh, a Nibiru here, I'm good. Now, just to be safe, because I wasn't sure what that other trap was, I played Testament. That protects all my effects from going off. So uh, they're able to function like they normally would. I get out the Ubermax, special summon uh, Maximus, go ahead and go to battle. Maximus does double damage, and he had the Bay Links in attack position being only 500. I, I love how this deck works, but that's your goal with Crusadia, is you're winning in one turn. But you can grind. So as you can see, this is a great match where I actually had my opponent run out of cards. So uh, it was a burn deck uh, focused on a lot round using Magical Cylinder. He got it off on me once, but I wasn't willing to take the risk and I was pretty sure he didn't have an out. So we went the entire 25 turns and I was able to deck him out. Uh, this is a very good deck, Machina. Uh, Machina is, is an awesome deck that I feel most people might want to consider because, man, it, it, you just turbo so fast. This is what I thought would be the best deck of the uh, tournament was Tri Brigade, but I get tired of playing Tri Brigade, um, so I went ahead and went with my Crusadia build. Um, I also thought Live Twin was pretty strong, um, uh, but then you have the Generator deck here, and what was nice about this is I was able to work through the interruption because of the Mech Knights. And I think that's why you don't see me use a pure Crusadia deck. The Mech Knights create options that Crusadias will not. Because Crusadias, you have to get your normal summon off typically. And if you get that normal summon stopped, you're dead in the water. The Mech Knight cards though, they allow things to actually function properly. Uh, there's the Live Twin deck that I lost to. And so again, uh, Tri Brigade took me out, Live Twin took me out, um, I'm trying to think, what, oh, and Machina. So really, this is a pretty good record uh, with what I was facing here. Um, I mean, there were so many different choices. I thought about for hire. Um, I know when that deck gets going and it rolls the right way, it can be very effective. This was fun. Uh, shout outs to this guy who's a dragon player trying to go uh, with another deck that Diablos enjoys where it's all about the grave and getting out your big dragons that banish stuff. Alter guys, I was really fortunate in my build you looked at earlier. I uh, had sided out the Harpy's Feathers Duster because I didn't really need it, but boy did I need it in that match. Blowing up his back row stopped everything. That, that was huge that I was able to get that to work. Okay, and then um, uh, Marinus, I thought I would run into that a lot too. And so that I did lose to, but I also had a uh, time where I won against it. And Sun Avalon is a good one too. Uh, shout outs to my uh, good friend Shadow Mew. Um, you know, this is a really good deck, Sun Avalon. It really uh, can put in quite a bit of work when it's functioning uh, the way that you're intending it to. And then, oh, and then Sky Striker Crusadia, which I thought that was actually pretty cool too. So lots of different choices here. And as you can see, I did face quite a big variety of decks, but I thought that I played extremely well against what I faced. And as you can see here from my uh, win-loss record, I ended up winning 75% of my matches. I thought that was pretty good, not, not too bad at all. So with this next replay, I did want to show you guys that the deck can grind. Now it is against Salaman Great again, but the deck is able to hang if it needs to. And uh, Salaman Great, I think, does a great job hanging as well. But you really get to see the Mech Knight cards, I feel, come into effect here, uh, which is really nice. So right away, my opponent has a pretty good start. Uh, uses Circle, adds Spinny. That tells me something um, that more than likely he's got Gazelle in the hand. Goes for Bay Lynx here, uses Flame Buffalo, which is really good because it's gonna lead to a draw of two. Like the way this is chaining, Sanctuary is gonna be added to the hand here. So Buffalo resolves first, he ditches the Spinny, which is actually a really good ditch. 
and then there's the sanctuary being added to the hand. Goes ahead and uses Spinny's effect here. Uh, specials. Again, I really thought I'd be seeing Gazelle the first time I saw this. That's fine though, goes for Sunlight Wolf. Okay, goes ahead and also gets out uh, Sanctuary and then goes with three face downs. Now, that told me right away, one of those has to be Roar, was my first thinking. So right away I'm like, okay, if he doesn't have the Link Monster, then this doesn't help him. So notice this leads to specials that were really effective for me here in uh, having the Kaijus and then having the Mech Knight cards. Now he's not dead. Go ahead and play my face down. I like the face downs that I have here. Go ahead now and go for uh, the Mech Knight card. And this is good because I can ditch one. And notice I uh, ditched the Mech Knight I already used because I can't summon it that turn. Go ahead and special. This gets me Purple Knight Fallout. Uh, then I can use that effect if I want to. Did not expect the Primal Being to come out. I should have been counting better. And the Primal Being does hurt this deck. Now, the Ash really hurt me bad. And then I realized, wow, he didn't have Gazelle, which surprised me that he didn't uh, go for that play instead of the spinning. I think that actually would have been the better way to go. I'm actually okay with this because the token's pretty large. Was disappointed to see that Circle meant that he was getting Gazelle now. So I thought, oh, that's not good for me. So it's his turn. Not really bad. I thought that's pretty good setup for what he wants to do. Normal summons the Gazelle. Instantly I go ahead and chain here and a secret is so good because anything that's in the same column as a Mech Knight card, it shuts off what you're doing. So this is a great deck for control as well to where he's got to decide what to hit. In this situation, he had to hit the token. If not, he's dead, more than likely. So goes ahead and links off here and goes for the Nightmare Phoenix, which I thought was interesting uses the effect pitching the imperm i use my imperm at this point hoping that i can negate what's in the column there but it's cross out so cross out designator putting in so much work here um, i do go ahead and chain here and uh, that makes him go ahead and use the infinite impermanence so this was a huge play by all of us because now i can't move my mech knight and then he's going to be able to destroy secret which i do agree is the right play you want to hit that card because then that also gets rid of the mech knight that's on the field no more negations so my top deck is amazing though it's another secret we're both in top deck mode and i thought to myself man that could not have gone better with what i was trying to do uh, goes ahead and activates or goes ahead and uh, tries to attack. I activate Secret, that gives me Purple Nightfall. It's not gonna be able to get over me. I wait till the end phase, use the effect. It's gonna come back on the standby, which is so good. Uh, and I go for Blue Sky. And this card is so good, depending on how many cards are in the column with it, it really leads to uh, me getting more cards. So he's got one in the same column. So I go ahead and go for my other Mech Knight card, switch everything to attack position. Go ahead and start uh, attacking in. It's really decent damage, but notice it's still not enough. But notice the way we're both interacting. There's a lot going on there. And I do go for uh, Phoenix here. And I think to myself, I'm not gonna need the Primal Being. So I just go ahead and hit the Roar, then get the Special off. And now this was a mistake. I probably should have went to the other zone uh, because there would have been nothing that he would have been able to do here. Uh, when it comes to his deck. He does get a good uh, card in with the Salmon card. Goes for Bailing. Spinny's going to be able to come out. Uh, and then uh, uses Sanctuary just to get out of the Bailing. So that, that's why Sanctuary is so good. It counts as the full uh, Link material for what you're trying to do. Goes ahead and then goes to get Roar. And this is where I decide, okay, I'm going to have to change here. I don't want him to have any effect that he can get off. I go ahead and use it, uh, put it into the same column. There's nothing that he can do at this point. I know I am not going to activate any effect. Um, the Kaiju is just icing on the cake, honestly. So I thought, hey, that works. Go ahead and start attacking in because the world is useless without the Link Monster. And then now he's down to 300. And so it, it's a good grind game, right? You can see that if both players are in top deck mode, this does give you lots of options of things that you can actually do. Um, I go ahead, just go to battle phase and attack here, and uh, yeah, it worked. And if you go back and actually look at the matches that I lost, 
they weren't the majority of them just one and done, right? Uh, you can see that it took uh, quite a few turns for me to have those losses. And to me, that's the success I wanted. So I'm pretty pleased getting to the platinum level that the deck has performed as well as it has. But I know it's going to be a harder challenge going forward. And I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking ratio wise, what I could probably do to tweak the deck a little bit to make it better. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Also, we'd love to have you be subscribers to the channel. And speaking of subscribers, this is year five of us being a YouTube channel. It has been awesome having you guys with me. Uh, I appreciate all of you so much, and especially those who have contributed from our community. You know, individuals like Casey, Diablos, Shadow Mew, Obelisk, Grunt. You know, all of you guys have made the community what it is. If you want to follow our community online, we'd also love to have you guys be a part of our Twitch community. Hey, thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Yeah! yeah. That's a great hit! Yeah, yeah. yeah Matthew! All right! Hustle, hustle, Matthew! Yeah! Great job, all right! Wait for your next challenge.